Hello, welcome to a house tour submitted by my friend Autumn. This is a modern tiny house with a beautiful garden I can see already. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The landscaping looks amazing. I think the main feature is the backyard though. So let's check out the inside and we'll save the backyard for last. So I do think it's kind of funny that you can see the toilet from outside. Like that's the first thing that you see. So I don't know, maybe some curtains would be helpful, but hey, what can you do in a tiny home? You have tiny options. And oh my gosh, look at this beautiful view. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love the hot pink slash purple counters. Um, oh, it is so cute that you put a little counter with a bar stool at the end. I never thought to do that. So it's just kind of continued and flowing and adorable. And we have this little froggy guy, which I saw for the first time actually yesterday when I was doing a live stream. I didn't realize this little dude existed. And it's so cute. There's some cute little ones in Buy Debug that you can get. Um, there's a tablet on the counter. Cute little kitchen. I mean, seriously, it's adorable. There's everything you need. We've got the coffee mugs, um, the fridge. Oh my gosh, we can see that garden already. So let's just kind of back away, back away slowly. And I guess it's time to check out the bathroom. Uh, there's the toilet front and center. Yep nice toilet right there and really pretty sink i like the gray and the white together very classic very beautiful and a nice big tower tower oh my gosh do you guys remember every time we used to house tour in the sims 3 i would call the tub and shower combo the tower combo because i would just slur my words i just did it again i meant the shower tub combo not the tower combo <sighs> <laughs> Anyways, I did place this house in Newcrest, but we do have beautiful views from every single room, obviously, because there's gorgeous big windows. And then this is the bedroom. So cute. So tiny. Again, this beautiful pink and purple, pinkish purple color. I don't even know what to call it, but it is gorgeous. We've got our little night table, our another little one of these fun dolls. I really don't know what they are, but they're so freaking cute. They're so stinking adorable. And that's it for the bedroom. Everything you need. It's a cute little tiny home. I think the kitchen, well, the kitchen's obviously the biggest part, so that's nice. Now, I am going to hit play because I did see a water feature back there. We know we like my water features, so let's head on back. So, I think the garden is the main feature of this house, and look at these beautiful flowers on the side already. Whoa, that was loud. <laughs> let's turn that down a bit. <laughs> We have beautiful rainbow flowers. I love them. I love them. They're so pretty. So pretty. We have some plants growing. Not exactly sure what they are. Maybe some herbs and spices for our kitchen. Maybe this is a nice self-sustaining home. Um, maybe some sort of tree growing. I could probably click on them and see exactly what they are, but I imagine they're for, cook for cooking. And oh, there's a pool. I didn't even notice that. <gasps> Look, there's little mushrooms and carrots on top of the table. That's adorable. Nice little candles. Ooh, there are more trees. Oh my gosh, so pretty, so pretty. Love the fountain. Gorgeous. We've got a nice little um, barbecue grill. I couldn't think of the word for a second. But look at this pool. <gasps> it is so pretty. I love the flowers around the pool. I usually only put flowers around it if I'm doing a pond. So seeing them around a pool is such a beautiful feature. Something I never even thought to do. And it's just gorgeous. Oh, look, 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 look. She put the light in the middle and then put a fountain coming out of it. <sighs> How creative. And there's her, that, that hot pink purple again with the little umbrella. You can sit out here and enjoy your dinner or breakfast or whatever you want. The, I'm telling you, the rainbow flowers all around are absolutely beautiful. This is such a cute tiny home. Thank you so much for sharing it with me, Autumn. I hope you guys enjoy it. It is, of course, available to download in the gallery. I'll have Autumn's gallery ID linked well, not linked, but typed out in the description below so you can check that out for yourself. Um, I don't think we need to do a floor plan because that was so tiny, but we are going to do my favorite shot, which I'm going to totally cheat and make my favorite shot everything because it's tiny and we can. So we have the beautiful shot of the pool, the beautiful fountain, and we could see straight back to the house. So there's my favorite shot. And if you guys want me to tour any of your homes, all you have to do is submit them by uploading them to the gallery with the hashtag SimmerKey, just like my name. Hashtag, I don't know how you do a hashtag. Hashtag... <laughs> Um, um, I'm a loser. Ignore me. Hashtag Simmerkey and I will tour your house. Just make sure you put in the description because I have a few other series. Um, let me know if it's for me to tour or if it's a family that you want me to find a house for. I have a house hunting series. Or if you want to upload just an empty house, just a shell of a house, I will furnish it for my Furnish Me series. All of them use hashtag Simmerkey and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it because I post seven days a week and we also live stream on Sundays. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Mwah. Bye! Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.